This is Brandon from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm here at AWSI in Hood River, Oregon with Noe Font. You're here from uh, Barcelona, Spain, and uh, you're here to talk about the, uh, the full kind of ION accessories lineup for 2020. Yeah, so the, yeah, the, with ION in 2020, the thing that they've been focusing most on is trying to make a high performance, really lightweight harness. And I think that's something that a lot of other brands are also going for, really lightweight, light wind, you know, with all the hydrofoiling and stuff, so. So that's kind of the, the future, is kind of just making the overall product line, trying to trim weight where you yeah, can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, if you make a really lightweight kite that goes in six knots and then your harness is like 100 pounds and you're sinking, it, you know, it, it's not worth it. So what they've done is they've uh, created a flex scale that goes from zero to 20, and then each harness is placed within according to how hard and stiff uh, the support is. And then um, we have three different uh, levels of uh, performance. Mm -hmm. The more entry one is like a bit heavier and less, um, more of like a cheaper construction. Mm -hmm. And then from there it goes into like a full on super lightweight spreader bar with aluminum buckles and like mm -hmm. super, nothing absorbs water anymore, the spreader bar is all rubber. So depending on your budget or your, you know, yeah, kind exactly. of your skill level, but you can kind of... The thing is that, like, more entry-level cheap harness is still, like... Still built, still built for performance. two years right? ago, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really good yeah. thing. Like, for instance, I was just, you were showing me a little bit earlier, yeah. um, this cool. So this is our new uh, spreader bar uh, C3.0. And we have a, I mean, you can just see it and feel it. It's really oh, yeah. wide really thin the new uh, hooks also much nicer than than the one from last year it, it like sticks out a little bit more and you can unhook and hook back in really easy and then you have the rope which is something that we've had for a while that's kind of a cool concept right because it's building the two yeah it's it's cool to have the two things together a couple of years ago you could uh, exchange the hook into like different things and this year it all comes in one and then the rope you can adjust it from the back it's really easy you can pop a clip here and it comes with like a little allen key and you can make it longer or tighter if you're not going to use it you can just tighten it in and you know that, get it out of the that's way that's pretty cool feature because i've had uh, actually recently i had a friend like bust this thing on another model but then you know he didn't have a hook so like trying to yeah, trying to be yeah, we were like a mile yeah. out and you know in the red triangle with great white sharks and he's <laughs> like sitting there just kind of hosed but this that's kind of a cool feature yeah um for me and i mean i would just come in with a knife and cut this off because i never use it right but now i can just like now you can just tighten, tighten it out of the way and it's out Still of the way yeah. yeah so so you were saying earlier like a lot of these harnesses are been optimized to shed a little bit of weight and so like yeah. right here there's this buckle and it's double buckle aluminium system. I think this is the the lightest um, buckle system we've like come to, and that's what they they ended up uh, using on the higher end um, side of the harnesses. And then, um, like I said before, we have the uh, flex scale, and harnesses go from zero to twenty, and you know the the number rates how stiff and hard in your back they are. Um, so like this like is this the sole here. This one's the sole um, flex rating of 11, which means it's somewhere in between. It's a girl's harness, as you can see, really small for lower. Uh, yeah, lower, smaller, back yeah. but more. Yeah. And then this one, the Riot, 14, and then we got the Apex with 13, and then last but not least, the only one in the line, which is uh, still full carbon and not a composite like this one's. Flex rating of 20, the stiffest one. I know uh, Aaron's uh, Aaron Hadlow's harness is still as stiff as possible because that's what he wants. And and yeah, that's that's basically it with the harnesses. It's all about the the flex. Pick which one you like. If you like a softer one, go for a lower number. Even like no hard shell, we still have like the softer ones that we used to have back in the day. And it's such a wide range of support yeah. and flex, so it's and really... we have different shapes, of course, and yeah. some, for sure you'll find one that, that fits you. And, yeah. and with, a, with a new scale, it's, it's much easier to... Kind of understand that whole product range yeah. gets so deep and so diverse. Exactly, yeah. it's, it's one way to simplify it and yeah. instead of just having random names for the products. Yeah. And so, and then in the wetsuit category, right, you got... Um, so in the wetsuit category, we have the um, 
the amp and the strike. One of them, the strike's more of like an entry level, cheaper wetsuit, but still very high performance. With this year, they always used to be back zip only, and this year we introduced the strike front zip, and it comes in a really nice uh, experimental white color, something that I haven't really seen in wetsuits, and I think it's pretty cool. And then the the Onyx, um, here we go, Onyx Amp, this is uh, the much nicer one, much more expensive. It comes with this new, uh, well, the front zip and then the, the little uh, oh, yeah. elastic band on the side. It's a pretty cool system, it doesn't use one of those uh, like clips anymore. You, move, yeah. you just pull it and tighten it and then to like untighten it, just pull this one out. And that, that's huge because I actually actually have this wetsuit and I don't I oftentimes don't tighten that and that's so that's, it, that's I mean with wetsuits it's just like it all depends on like your body shape yeah. and your size like I'm I could be a medium and someone like almost twice as heavy as me could be a medium too because we're the same height right, right. but with with things the like this you can yeah yeah you can, it, you yeah. can really make it yeah. make it happen this is actually something that I tried and I saw it for the first time in January and I was like oh, okay like we'll see and then in the water straight away it very useful, fe yeah, useful feature. Yeah. So if someone's looking for more information about the Ion harness or the wetsuits, where would they go? Uh, you can uh, head over to ionproducts.com and Instagram, Facebook, you know, retailers, social media, yeah. retailers. Yeah. Good information everywhere. Hit us up on wherever you can find us, and okay. we'll we'll be there to help out. Yeah. All right, Noah. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah.